Welcome to Sparrow Child International YouTube channel, where we help you keep your family safe, healthy, and prepared for anything life throws your way. In today's video, we're diving into the essentials of first aid for your little ones. From assembling a first aid kit to handling common childhood injuries, we'll guide you step by step on how to keep your home safe and ready for any emergency. Getting ready. The basics. Assembling a first aid kit. Every home should have a solid first aid kit. Think adhesive bandages, antiseptic wipes, tweezers, a digital thermometer, and child-specific meds. Tailor your kit to fit your kiddo's needs and check regularly to ensure nothing's expired. Emergency numbers and contacts. Keep a list of emergency contacts close by. This should include your family doctor, local emergency services, and the poison control center. Make sure everyone in the household knows where to find this list. Handling common childhood injuries. Cuts and scrapes. Kids and cuts go hand in hand. First, rinse the wound with water and mild soap. Apply an antiseptic, then cover it with a bandage. If it's a deep cut or doesn't stop bleeding, it's time to see a doc. Bruises. Got a bruise? Wrap some ice in a cloth and apply it for 10 to 15 minutes to reduce swelling. Keep an eye on it. If it doesn't get better or if the pain gets worse, call a doctor. Burns. For burns, cool the area under running water for at least 10 minutes. Cover it with a sterile, non-stick dressing. Serious burns, like those with blisters or covering large areas, need immediate medical attention. Sprains and strains. Remember rice. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. Rest the injured area, ice it for 20 minutes every two hours, compress with an elastic bandage, and elevate it above heart level. If swelling or pain doesn't improve, see a healthcare pro. Nosebleeds. Sit your child upright and have them lean forward slightly. Pinch the soft part of their nose and hold for about 10 minutes. Don't let them lie back, as this can cause blood to flow down their throat. If the bleeding doesn't stop after 20 minutes, get medical help. Choking. If your child is choking, give back blows and abdominal thrusts, Heimlich maneuver. Call emergency services if they can't cough or breathe. Head injuries. Keep an eye out for concussion symptoms like dizziness, vomiting, or confusion. If these occur, or if your child loses consciousness, get medical help right away. Poisoning. Suspect poisoning? Call the Poison Control Center immediately. Identify the substance if you can, and follow their instructions. Prevention Tips. Childproofing your home. Make your home safer by securing furniture, using safety gates, and keeping dangerous items out of reach. Prevention is the best form of first aid. Supervision and education. Always keep an eye on young children and teach them about safety practices. Show them potential hazards and how to avoid them. Special considerations. Age-specific advice. Adjust your first aid approach based on your child's age. Infants, toddlers, and school-age kids all have different needs. Handling fear and panic. Stay calm during emergencies. Your calmness will help reassure your child and keep the situation under control. Additional resources. Training and certification. Think about getting certified in pediatric first aid. Organizations like the Red Cross offer great courses. Being trained can boost your confidence and effectiveness in emergencies. Useful apps and websites. There are tons of apps and websites with first aid guidance, like the Red Cross First Aid app and the American Academy of Pediatrics website. 
Wrapping up. Knowing first aid is a must for every parent and guardian. It's not just about responding quickly, it's also part of achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 3, good health and well-being. Stay prepared, stay informed, and keep your kids safe. References Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Home and Recreational Safety American Academy of Pediatrics HealthyChildren.org World Health Organization Child Safety and Injury Prevention Staying Informed and Prepared Creates a Safer Environment for Your Children Your Quick Actions Can Greatly Reduce the Impact of Injuries and Ensure the Best Care Possible Stay with us as we get you ready with the basics of first aid. Let's make sure you're equipped to keep your kids safe and healthy. Check out our YouTube channel for more videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.